Today I'm going to show you a really easy beginner friendly way to do a pull through braid. This is a great way to get your hair looking polished and off your face even if it's greasy and dirty. Let's get started. I have really frizzy hair and I want this to look super polished. So the first thing I do is apply a little hair balm followed by some hair oil to tame those flyaways and really control any frizz that may want to pop out. As I always do, I'll leave links to all the products that I use in the description box below in case you're interested in specific products. The first thing that you're gonna do is start by creating a series of ponytails. I start this first one by sectioning out temple to temple and I secure it with a tiny stretchy elastic. These are really good elastics because they have a coating on them that doesn't pull and break the hair. After that, you wanna move down the head making more ponytails. The amount of ponytails that you make is up to you. Sometimes I do more and sometimes I do less. It depends on how many of the braided bubbles I want at the back and also how much time I have to do my hair. Obviously, the more ponytails that you do, the more bubbles that you get, but also the more time it will take you to do this look. Today, I opted for five ponytails. Now, before I start the braid, I just like to clean up any of the flyaways with my hairspray and I smooth it all out so it is polished. And then I like to add a little bit more cream to the ponytails so that everything is looking really smooth and perfect before we get started. Now we are ready to braid. What you're gonna do is split that ponytail in half. You're gonna grab that pony directly under it and clip it up. The clip you use here is actually really important because if you use a clip like this, you will snag your hair when you try to release it. I have made this mistake many times before. You need a smooth clip like this one so that you don't mess up the previous sections. If you think you'll be doing a lot of pull through braids in your life, it may be a good idea to get this type of clip. You can buy it on Amazon. I'll leave a link in the description box. Attach that ponytail to the one underneath and secure it with an elastic. Some people leave the fanning to the very end, but I like fanning each section right away because then I am not messing up any of the other areas that are resisting the pulling. Release that ponytail, split it in half, clip the other pony up, attach it to the bottom pony and secure with an elastic, then gently fan it out. Now you can finish off this last one and then attach it together at the bottom. This is adorable and super easy. If you try it, tag me on Instagram at glamgirlgabby because I'd love to see it and share it too. If you like this video, you may find this one helpful next. I'll catch you guys next week.